Welcome to the Old Timer Centre. My name is Philip Tarrant and I'm going to be talking to you about this 2002 Mercedes S320. It's done 224,000 kilometres since it was new, but from looking at the car or driving it, it certainly doesn't look like it's done a kilometre over 100,000. It's travertine beige with beige leather interior and it's been optioned with this beautiful light coloured burl timber. Being a 2002 model it's the last of the pre-update W220 series. They came with a lot of standard features including memory electric seats, adjustable suspension and electronic stability program along with parking sensors on the front and back. This was optioned with navigation and it really is in absolutely beautiful condition. It was owned by a very fussy person on the central coast and it was driven mainly on the freeway which is probably why it's in such good condition. It's got new Pirelli tyres all round. The oil's nice and clean. The gearbox um, just had a service. And I've owned a number of W220S classes. And I guess after owning so many, I like to think that I've got a pretty good idea of how they should drive. I have driven this car and it drives perfectly. I love the colour combination. It's one of the first I've seen with this nice light coloured timber. And usually on the travertine cars, the leather's a lot lighter. It's more of a beige as opposed to a cream. And you've got the two-tone with the darker dash. The 3.2 litre V6, also known as the 112 engine, is very reliable. Some mechanics would say it's it's a bulletproof engine if it's well looked after which this one has been you could look at another s320 with 60,000 kilometers and it would not be in this condition all the paint looks original on the car it's got a new battery it's got all the original tools As far as I'm concerned, the Mercedes S-Class really is one of the best cars in the world. Like every other car, when you open the boot, it's got shock absorbers. So when you unlock it, they push the boot up. You have to replace them over time. Um, Mercedes don't. They actually have a spring system which never has to be replaced. Everything works, the air conditioning's ice cold, the electrics, the windows, the seats, the sunroof. Look, people always ask you now if certain things work, but it's a Mercedes-Benz. Generally, I find everything always works if they've been looked after. Isn't it just beautiful? And look, with, with these cars, or with any S-Class, you can't buy them purely based on kilometres because you buy a car with 100,000 or 120,000 could even be 60,000 you think that you're buying a great car because it's got low kilometres but you know it's got dings, scrapes, scratches it was involved in an accident 10 years ago and it's really not that good a car at all you're best to buy one like this with some kilometres on it which is being well looked after and you're buying it for the right money The 220 series was a huge leap forward from the W140 which came out in around 1992 and was replaced in late 1998, early 1999 with the W220 series. But it's just nice to get a car like this where you know everything about it's good, the headlights are nice and clear, the paint's excellent, it's got Pirelli tyres, it starts and drives perfectly, the engine mounts are nice and soft. We'll start it up. Even little things like normally you find with Mercedes this age you get sticky, sticky switches and things. All right. 
So we've started up. So you've got an electronic stability program. The click of a button, you can stiffen the suspension. The click of this button, you can, the car raises by several centimetres if you've got to get in and out of a steep driveway. The click of this button, you can drop the back headrest, which has been the case since the mid 80s. And that's your parking sensors. It says the next service is due at 14, 000, in 14,900 kilometres. You can even have a digital readout for the speed of the car. Let's have a look. <laughs> look at that. Average fuel consumption. 9.9 .9 litres per 100 k's on a car which weighs nearly two tonnes. It's pretty impressive. Um, we'll have a look under the bonnet. Um, I really do like these standard wheels. I actually think they look better than the Update W220 Series S350 wheel. Just bear with me, I'll open the bonnet. One, two. So the engine bay is nice and clean. You can see it's got the green fluid for the radiator, which is what, exactly what it should have. When you take the oil cap off the engine, it's nice and clean in there. Because these are so reliable, a lot of people do not service them properly. Which is a real shame. But I can't speak highly enough about the 220 series. You know, for a car that's five meters long, it's very easy to park. It's got a small turning circle. I think it represents incredible value. Some, a lot of people when they buy cars like this, this age, they worry about ongoing maintenance. With this transmission and this engine, they're incredibly reliable. The only maintenance item being potentially down the track, I might need a shock absorber or two for the air suspension. But again, a car like this, you don't take it to a Mercedes-Benz dealership and service it, you take it to a specialist, and um, it's a lot cheaper. This car has had two suspension struts on the front in the past six to 12 months, which is great. Um, as I said, I've owned a number of them. I've never, ever had to change a strut. Um, usually, if, if there is an issue, it's because you've gone over a, a large pothole or something like that. But generally speaking, they're very inexpensive to run, especially if you get a good car like this. That's why if you're, if you're online, you're seeing other cars for six and $7,000. The reality is, as soon as you get the car, you'll be spending one, two, three, four, five, six thousand dollars $6,000 to bring it up to this sort of standard. You're best to spend a little bit extra and buy a car that requires absolutely nothing, and you can just drive it and enjoy it. Which is exactly what this car is. If you have any specific questions about the car, please give us a call. We're contactable on 029569 I'd be more than happy to help you. My name's Philip. If you have finance inquiries, you can speak to Richard. His contacts on the same number. We're located just 20 minutes from Sydney Airport. If you want to come and have a closer look at this beautiful car. And we certainly do look forward to hearing from you soon.